Good morning, everybody. No, it isn't. I was just going to say it's Wednesday. It's not. It's Tuesday. Tuesday morning. And I'm ready to go to the cemetery. Um, Alfie's headstone was erected last week on Friday, I think. And um, my son's been and he said it's absolutely beautiful. Um, waited long enough for it. So uh, there was quite a lot of work in it, so I can't really complain. But it, it has been. Alf died in August and I ordered the headstone in October. So it's been quite a while really waiting for it. Over six months. But it's all done and it's like another, not a hurdle, but another thing that I can sit back and think I, I've done well by my husband, he deserves it. And um, so I'm going to go and have a look at it today and then I'll pay the balance. It, it's come to um, £3,000 just over. Uh, so I've got to pay them the last 500 So that's what I'm doing this morning. Um, but I wanted to just come on briefly and touch on something, and I'd love your opinion. Um, big families, large families, massive families, or very small families. Um, if as in the fundies, you are a believer that everything is written, that the only thing that will happen to you is what God ordains will happen to you. Um, and maybe, you know, it, there's something in that because the God spark is in each of us. And if you like, we can have like um, a self-fulfilling prophecy. Whereas when we... Um, have problems and we're beating ourselves up about them and we're calling ourselves stupid and all these things that we're feeling about ourselves actually transmits to other people and then they will treat us in a certain manner. But I'm thinking about children now and um, couples who go through IVF um, who are great believers in God, they've maybe had one or two children, they want more children, they, if they've got the money they'll use IVF or, as in Andrea Mills, progesterone cream to help things along. But surely, if you're a believer in God and you believe in what God ordains, why do you have to help things along in that way? instead of just allowing things to happen in a natural manner. I find it hard. Um, our tribe of many, she's having her uh, 11th, her 11th pregnancy at the age of 42. Well, at that age now, and it's 11, so she's not likely, you see, to beat the Radfords. And it is with some of them though, it's a race, isn't it? Just to see how many they can have, um, how many rugrats they can produce, if you'll pardon the expression. Um, and then when the older kids get to a certain age, they look after the younger kids while mummy keeps on reproducing. And I think it's wrong. It's totally wrong. You should be having children and I speak for myself here too, and I was very young when I had my kids. I had three children before I was 20. We wanted five, we stopped at three. There was a couple of reasons for that. One was because um, I didn't want the um, intolerance of people because five I would consider to be a, a good sized family. Um, and I didn't want the intolerance of, of my sisters and those sorts of things bothered me a bit. But that wasn't the real reason we didn't have the five. 
there was the financial aspect also because I wanted to get back to work or get to work having gained all these qualifications I wanted to work and make a career and I did but you know it, it's a big thing a big regret for me that we didn't have at least one more but I think four five maximum would have been and even then I would have felt difficult to in some ways, you know, there is such a thing as the population explosion. There is such a thing as malnutrition on, not only on other continents, but in our own countries. And I think it's very selfish to have more than, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven plus kids. And you should be having them for the sake of love, what you can give to that child, loving them, nurturing them, bringing them along in life. Not simply, as in some YouTube channels, they seem to just churn out kids because it's another prop for them. You know, like, oh, I've got this nice Murano glass tray um, and I'll tell you all about that but instead it's these people with their children and then I'll go to the other extreme there was that lady I think she was on Hungarian um, Ilonescu I can't remember Adriana Ilonescu and she had her first child who's now a teenager, but she had her, first child, her only child at the age of 66. Doctors were telling her that, you know, her body wouldn't withstand the pregnancy, that she should have a termination and all the rest of it. But she didn't, and she had a healthy baby, and she's brought her up. I don't know whether the mother's still alive, actually. Uh, Adriana Ilonescu, her name is, yes, that's right. So she was 66, so what would she be now, about eight, in her mid-80s? Um, that was selfish. And I mean, I don't know whether the woman paid to have IVF or something to help her become pregnant at the age of 66, or whether it was natural which seems a bit off the wall to me, but there you go. Um, she had her child at 66, but she, there's a woman in India um, and she had her first child and she was over 70. There was another woman in India and I can't remember what happened, but I'm, I'm sure that she was pre um, impregnated um, by doctors, I believe, they were a wealthy family. And she was having twins, and I don't know, I, this is many years ago now, and I, I, I can't remember what happened with that. So, you know, you've got one end of the spectrum where you've got people who've got six, seven, eight, nine kids, and they want more kids. So they use IVF, progesterone cream, anything that they can use to get pregnant, they will use. Um, on their cervix, on the man's penis, anything like that um, that they think might help them. Um, and then you've got the other extreme where people have um, had no children, gone all through life for whatever reason, and then in the case of this Hungarian lady, decided at 66 she wanted a child. Who's the most selfish, do you think? And our tribe of men, eh? I haven't watched that channel for a long time because um, I just find the parents irritating. And I'm sure there's a lot of you who love them. I don't. I just find them over the top. Um, and they're going to have this child, this, 11, this uh, 11th baby, um, who eventually will be brought up by the older kids, you know, um, as in Andrea's channel, 
the little girl being brought up by one of her brothers and it's just so unfair on those kids. Let them be teenagers, let them have their teenage years. You get people going on to Tom Mills channel selling the one lad, oh you'll make a good daddy, you're such a good daddy, blah blah blah. He's been doing it since he was 15. When he should have been out and doing other stuff. However much the older children love their younger siblings, they should not be rearing them. And however much a 66, 70 year old woman wants a baby, she shouldn't be encouraged in any way, shape or form because she's doing it for her not for the child to give that love to a child one more thing I always do this one more thing um, in um, the comment section I think yes it was of one of um, Tom Mills videos he said that if you don't have as many it, I'm paraphrasing now but this is what he meant if you decide to limit your family you are effectively killing children um, and he did use the word dead wouldn't you rather be alive than dead those children aren't dead, the children who are non-existent, they're not dead because they're non-existent. The sperm has to fertilise the egg, the baby has to grow in the womb, an embryo, a fetus. When does the soul enter the body? Catholic Church says on conception. Other religions say time of birth. I don't know. But you're not killing a child simply because you're not getting pregnant. If I'm looking at my fertile years now, I could probably have, what, another 14, 15 children. So you're saying I've murdered 14 or 15 children. What a load of nonsense. It's no wonder people turn away from religion when they hear things like that. Right, yeah, I'm going to get the Wellingtons on because it's soggy ground and I'll take a video at the cemetery and show you Alfie's beautiful headstone. I'll be back. Bye-bye.